Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on detecting interaction effects in ANOVA using plots. I have here in the data editor in SPSS fictitious data. I have a independent variable named program and this has three levels individual counseling, group counseling, and treatment as usual. An independent variable status and has two levels voluntary and involuntary. And then I have a dependent variable named symptoms. And this is measured at the continuous level. So we want to see if there's a main effect on the dependent variable symptoms from program and or from status. But we also want to determine if there's an interaction effect between these two independent variables. And in this example, we'll be looking at the plots first to see if we can detect an interaction effect. So I'm going to perform a factorial NOVA here. So this will be analyze, general linear model, univariate. The dependent variable in this case will be the variable symptoms. The fixed factors or independent variables will be program and status. Under plots, for the horizontal axis, I'm going to use the variable program. And on separate lines, the variable status. I'm also going to run this plot the other way. So I'm going to put status on the horizontal axis and program as a separate line. So it give us two views at the same information, program times status and status times program. Click continue. Under options, I'm going to move program status and program time status over to the display means for list box, compare main effects. I'm going to add the descriptive statistics, estimates of effect size, and homogeneity tests. Click continue. To run the ANOVA, just click OK. And we have the output here. And I'm going to move down to the plots, which are at the end of the output. And we can see we have a plot here that has program on the horizontal axis and another one that has status on the horizontal axis. Let's take a look at the first one with program on the x-axis. And we can see here that we have the lines crossing. The blue is voluntary and the green involuntary. So we can see the blue line crosses the green line here. As you move from individual down to group and again from group up to treatment as usual. We can see with those lines crossing, that's going to lead us to believe we have an interaction effect, that there's an interaction effect between these two variables. And looking at it another way, with status on the x-axis, we can see individual here is blue and tan. That's treatment as usual. Those lines are parallel. We wouldn't expect an interaction effect based on looking at those two lines. But then we look at the line for group treatment and moving from voluntary to involuntary, that line crosses both individual and treatment as usual. There's two places where the green line intersects. We can see the point that's really standing out here is the voluntary level of the independent variable status and the group level of the independent variable program this data point here stands out compared to the other five data points. And with this green line intersecting these other two lines, that's going to lead us to believe that we have an interaction effect. And it is with this voluntary level of the independent variable status and group level of the independent variable program. So let's see what we have in the ANOVA table, if it supports what we conclude from looking at these two plots. Moving back up the output, going to move to tests of between subjects effects. And first we're going to take a look at the main effects, the main effects of program and the main effects of status. So looking at this row program, we can see that we have a p-value here of 0.07. It's not statistically significant, so there is no main effect from the variable program on the dependent variable symptoms. Looking at status, 
and we have a non-statistically significant finding, 0 0.108. There is no main effect, the independent variable status. So moving now to the interaction between the independent variable program and the independent variable status. That's this next row, program times status. And we can see here, for program times status, we have statistical significance, 0 0.014. That's below 0 0.05, and it is statistically significant. So we have an interaction effect in this example, but not a main effect for the two independent variables. That is supported by what we saw in the plots. Now moving up here to the descriptive statistics, we have this independent variable program, the three levels, individual, group, treatment as usual, and then the two levels of status. We have the means, and we can see that the mean that really stands out is group and voluntary at 41.5 mean score from that combination really stands out compared to the other scores. And again, moving down to the plots we have here with voluntary and group, that's this point plotted down in the bottom left. I hope you found this video on detecting interaction effects in ANOVA using plots to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.